नमस्ते वेलकम टू हार्ट बीट एपिसोड होप यू आर लाइकिंग इट एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग समथिंग रिलेटेड टू डाइट वेजिटेरियन वर्सेज नॉन वेजिटेरियन इट इज़ ऑलवेज अट असल विच इज़ बेटर वेजिटेरियन और वेजी और नॉन वेजी सो एज आई एम अ वेजिटेरियन सो माई और बाइस विल बी समवॉट विद वेजिटेरियन बट देर इज़ नथिंग लाइक इट इज़ माई वे ऑफ थाट साइंस हैज़ ऑलरेडी गिवन ए लॉट ऑफ एविडेंसेज एंड वन थिंग एट द आउटसेट आई विल से वेजिटेरियन नॉन वेजिटेरियन आंसर कांट बी गिवन विदाउट एनी रेंडमाइज ट्रायल रेंडमाइज ट्रायल मीन्स इन विच यू हैव टू सिग्रिकेट द पीपल एंड गिव द वेजिटेरियन वर्सेज नॉन वेजिटेरियन एंड ओवर द डेकेट्स वी हैव टू सी whether they are developing particular disease or they are getting protected so this answer none of the studies in the past has been done and probably in the future nobody will be daring to do it because uh, time consuming and probably there is no marketing for any of the things so with this uh, note let me give why we should promote or we should go more for the vegetarian the reason is vegetarian diet whatever we are taking it is a natural source from which and our gut means if you are going to see it is around 6.5 meters so our gut is more of a herbivorous versus carnivorous number 1 second if you can see from your tooths whatever god has gifted it is only four tooths which are canine which are meant for carnivorous variant so they are having more we are having given four so that's why we are omnivorous so we can consume either side from this side and that side and finally whatever the animals ruminants what we call as the bacteria is what we are inhabiting our in the intestine they are more for the herbivorous point of view and that's why if you are taking more fibers the chances of developing heart attack stroke cancer even depression all will be less and there is a science behind it so whenever you are taking more fiber products or you can say more fiber in your diet these fibers are the nutrients for the microbiota which you are inhabiting so they break down and they make sfa short chain fatty acid in which propionate butyrate and acetate these are three products form in which butyrate is going to take care of your small uh, bowel or you can say small intestine so they may, they keep the intact the integrity of your intestine whatever the mucosa is there which is going to be replaced every fifth day is been intact and that's why if you are taking ghee or what you call nei in our in the telugu these are going to nourish your intestine that's why even a baby in the older time they will say you should give ghee it it will be healthy for him the reason is they are rich in butyrate and butyrate is the nutrient for the intestinal epithelia so if you are taking more fiber this bacteria is going to convert into these three sfas and these F- sfas means short chain fatty acids are going to take care of your the intestine which is going to digest your food that is one reasoning second if you are going to consume non vegetarian or you can say red meat or meat what will happen so when you are consuming red meat they are going to convert this product into tma so trimethyl amine which is one of the product which is formed if you are taking too much and that will go inside the liver where it is going to metabolize and it will be converted into tmao so it is a oxidized form and this is going to make the inflammation in wherever possible way and the atherosclerosis if you are knowing or not it is a vascular means the vessel is getting inflamed and when vessels are getting inflamed what will happen it is going to be more stickier the rbcs wbcs whatever is going it is going to be stacking and later on the thrombosis and the foam cell what we call as a fat accumulated cells is going to lie inside the vessel and we can say plaque formation and slowly this thing will grow over time and again what we call as full blown coronary artery disease happens it is not limited to this one if you are consuming more and this non vegetarian diet the chances of developing cancer it has already been well proven that breast cancer and colon cancer they are more common in the person who are taking red meat so in nutshell if you are seeing from the nature point of view and whatever the accumulated evidence is it favors that vegetarian diet is always better than non vegetarian and if you are already having the disease you should restrict wherever possible your non vegetarian diet thank you so much 
See you next time with some important topic. Namaste.